What is going on, my weight loss warriors? Yes, it is two, well, eight. It is week eight. It is my week eight update. Yes, two months. That's what I was, no. Well, let's see. You got a one, a two, a three. That's right. Two months, eight weeks. Yes, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a wizard math. So here we are, and I want to give you this update. It's a little bit different than usual, um, but I want to do this in the spirit of what's been going on in the community. A lot of skin flicks. A lot of skin flicks. Uh, people are brave. And Melly May sort of sounded the trumpet, and I saw so many. Finding Elizabeth, Beautiful Alicia, Hard Boiled Heather. Um, there's been so many others. Um, and I'm so proud of you, and I salute you all. But unfortunately, I do not have the chutzpah. See, you girls have way bigger testicles than I do. Um, and I do, I do commend you for it. Um, and as I kind of joked about it on the Fat Kings the other night, I take a shower with my shirt on. So it ain't no way I'm going to be doing this here, showing you no skin. But I will do what is a body shot. Also, it's sort of a fashion show that celebrates how far I've come. So if you're new to the channel, I want to thank you for watching. And those of you who have been my stalwart supporters, I appreciate you uh, very much so. It's been a really hard journey. Um, so it started, like I said, May 7th. If I said that, I've done this like 12 times. But May 7th was my first appointment of 2014, May 7th. Um, also, if you're new to the channel, before I forget, I made a playlist called um, Best of 2014 so that you can see what I think are the best videos. It gives you pretty much the whole picture. Uh, a lot of the feels, a lot of the funnies, so you get a general idea of where I'm at and who I am. Uh, and that'll tell you the backstory. But a little bit of a backstory is May 7th was my first appointment, and I was 500 pounds. Now, this time last year, I was well over 500 pounds. But May 7th, I weighed in at 500, so it was documented. So that's where I always start my journey. Say I say 500 pounds, but I know I was probably 530, 520, but 500 pounds of May 7th. And... It was a long journey, and 112 pounds pre-op I lost. And on November 10th, I was 388 pounds, and today I am 347 pounds. So it's a 41-pound loss in eight weeks, 41 pounds with the tool, with the help of the surgery, 153 in total since May 7th, so that's eight months, 153 pounds. So I want to give you a little bit of a fashion show and let you see where I've come. And uh, I just want to say thank you to all the people. When I started this journey in May, prior to that I had started watching videos. I started doing research on the surgery. Now two years ago I would never have considered surgery. Never, never, never. But things got really bad and you can go back and watch some of the videos. My first video will talk about that. Um, but I want to thank you to everybody who I watched. That's less of Sarah. That's VSG Kirk. Uh, Sarah Nerd in Order again, um, the Fat Kings, Phil and TJ, um, so many, uh, Big Nick, uh, uh, Big Mark, um, the, the, the list is, goes on and on and on, but there were so many people that first that I watched and then that supported me early on, and I want to thank all of you. I'm very, 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 very uh, thankful to you. VSG Tanya, VSG Kirk, uh, Corey J. Cook, I mean, the list is just endless, and uh, I talk about it in Kings, but I just wanted to say it in this video. So if you're a newbie, go check some of those people out. Um, they, they, their information is, is, is incredible, and their stories are phenomenal. And so um, thank you, Bobby and Katie and just so many of you, and I appreciate everything. So I know I've only had the surgery two months ago or eight weeks ago. Same difference, but I like saying eight weeks because two months, I don't know. It doesn't really feel like two months. Um, because so much of it is liquid diet and anyway, what's the difference? Okay. So anyway, it's two months. That's what it is. So, um, it's only been two months. It's only 41 pounds with the surgery, but it's 153 pounds overall because of the, the surgery, because of the lifestyle I decided to change because I knew that I had to change my lifestyle for this to work. I knew that this was not going to be a quick fix. And I knew that because of you, because of your videos. And I'm hoping that I can pay this forward and inspire you now, I'm not going to be one of those people that just says, oh, go out and get it no matter what. 
there's a lot of factors and there's a lot of decision to make. Do your research. If it's right for you and you've made that decision and you've done your research, I hope that this inspires you to continue. And if you're far out and you're struggling, I hope this reminds you of how far you've come. Um, I wouldn't, I swore I wouldn't, I swore I wouldn't get the club. All right, guys, so let's move on. Let's get through this fashion show. Luckily, it is absolutely freaking freezing in my apartment, so I don't mind being this overly dressed, and you're going to see what I mean in a minute. So this coat was my coat from last winter. It was a Christmas gift for my family. I had no coat that fit me. I had outgrown all my coats. It was, you know, it was cold, and I have nothing. And I, I, I had another coat that was kind of this size, but it, it was starting to get too tight on me, so they actually got me another coat. Uh, but I didn't want to double up because that's stupid. Because um, this, it, the other one is just like a size smaller than this, so it really doesn't matter. So this is the big one. So this was the winter coat from last year. So here it is. Um, I think this is like a size 70. So here is the coat, the jacket that I had about three years ago that wouldn't fit me. Um, and this is so light. I'm going to take this off now. So here we go, ladies. Yeah, do 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 not only does it fit, I got plenty underneath it, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Peter Griffin strip show. Yeah, do, 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 do. Yeah, balls. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. So here we go. This is the hoodie sweat jacket. Now, this is a decent hoodie, man. This is a wintertime hoodie. But, Oh, it doesn't translate on screen. You can't really see this, but this is my, the creme de, this is what really turns me on, baby. Oh, this is what gets me so chuffed, as we say, across the pond. This is my winter coat from six years ago. Five, six years. It's been six years since I could wear this. Actually, probably closer to seven. Um, six years. And this, I love this coat. It's like a pea coat. Not exactly, but it's such a beautiful color. It has a nice lining. It's a warm, warm coat. And I couldn't wear it. Couldn't get it on for six years. It just sat in the back of the TARDIS. Speaking of behind the TARDIS. So here we go. So I'm just so thrilled. So not only did, and when I actually, a few months ago, when I first was dying to get this on, or just wouldn't button. Now not only does it button, but I had 15 fucking jackets on top of it. I'm sorry to curse, guys. It's just, it's a bad habit. I learned it from TJ. Okay, so this, so now, in the back of the TARDIS, I just found this. This shirt. I love this beautiful shirt. It's beautiful. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like I could go out and dance with this shirt right here. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's a real nice, nice shirt. And it's actually kind of big on me now. So, I didn't know I had it, and I just put it in the back of the closet. It's probably from about five, six years ago. So I am the lightest I have been in over six years, um, and, and and I'm just thrilled. So 153 pounds down. I'm going to unbutton this a little bit. Yeah, But I actually have another long sleeve shirt on top of it. So just showing that the jacket and two more, three more jackets underneath and a shirt and another long sleeve shirt, and this even this shirt, this black shirt that I'm wearing, was a shirt that I couldn't couldn't wear. Okay. So now let's get to the fun part. I'm going to back up. Here are the shorts that are in the picture. Uh, I'm going to show, I'll just show the picture at the beginning of this video. But it's a picture that I posted on my weight loss surgery Facebook. And this is it. These are them. These are a size. So I'm going to go first because it doesn't, it's not as dramatic. But this belt. So one of the cool things I love about this belt in the picture where these, these shorts are on, the belt the, you can tell that the, uh, the loop the, goes into the loop it's right about here, the end of the belt. It just about fits. And now the end of the belt is actually behind me. It's, it's actually 
behind me. <laughs> so this belt is probably about taller than me. And look at all the notches. And I could probably make a couple more, but well, you can't really see the notches. Sorry about that, but it's pretty freaking crazy. So now I take this belt off. You want to see. Now this belt is freaking taller than me. It goes on and on. You just can't see, but it's touching the floor and it's 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 about I don't know, a few inches above my head. So this I'm wearing don't worry, I'm wearing some my bicycle shorts underneath, so you, you ain't gonna see nothing special. Sorry ladies, I ain't that crazy. You gotta pay for that. I don't give that shit away free. Come on now. Alright, so this these are the these are the shorts. And you know, uh, it's kind of hard to tell. I don't know if it translates well, but there's some room in here, baby. I could get a decent size. Let's just say, if you're a woman who's hit goal, I might be able to get you in here. And, uh, yeah, so these are a size 66. I'm just about a 48 now. Just about. Probably could. I don't have a pair of 48s. I'm, I got, I'm looking through, going in the back of the TARDIS. Now, I used to save a lot of my skinny clothes. Uh, why, I don't know. But I always save my fat clothes, too. This time around, I'm not going to do that. I'm definitely going to save those shorts because that's going to make me, you know, the after picture. The big picture where I crash through my old picture and go, fuck that fat guy. <laughs> he was an asshole. I'm awesome. No, I'm not going to do that. I've talked about it in my videos. I'm going to say that guy was awesome. He just needed some help. So leave him the fuck alone. All right. So this is, this is my ensemble right now. This is about as close as you're going to get to a body shot. Um, here's my little short shorts. I'm gonna do some layups. I'm gonna go meet my man, my man Round Man Disappears, and we're gonna play some horse. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty much it right now. I'm gonna leave a little bit of a different video, maybe with some of the feels, but I just wanted to get this video in, and I hope that this inspires you. I hope this shows you that the surgery does work, and you've got to make a lot of changes. They got to be lifestyle changes and you got to be ready and it's not going to be easy. And I know I'm a noob. I'm just getting started. I'm a pretty quick learner, but I lived my entire journey from May 7th. It's eight months now as if I had the surgery and I got the results to prove it. So you will too. Do your research. If it's right for you, surgery can work for you. Um, but like I said, it's, you got to make some changes and you got to be committed to it. So Thanks, everybody, for watching. I'm going to leave a little bit more of a video, um, but probably not too much because I, I already blathered on enough. But I, I really do appreciate everything. I appreciate the support. And I wish you nothing but the greatest and the best, the healthiest and the happiest New Year 2015. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Uh, I'm leaving a very serious message today. Um, this is going to be about the feels for my two month weight loss. I can't, I can't do, what do you say? That's the craziest thing I ever heard. All right, guys. So two months, baby. Yeah, what the hell is going on? You see this face? It's considerably thinner than it was uh, just a few months ago. But uh, I think I'm going to put this in the beginning. I was going to put this in at the end, but I think it's better to start with this and go, hi, or maybe I should come back to this. I don't know. But either way, what you're about to see is going to be the big reveal, which is like a body shot in the spirit of what the girls have been doing. Um, quite a few women. Oh, and men, I left out Dennis. Dennis, you are awesome, dude. And you left a big skin flick that I was influenced by, but I don't even look as good as you. So maybe someday when I look like you or when I look like Phil Olson, the ladies, just ladies love Phil. He's like um, LL Cool J. He's the LL Cool, LL cool J. I don't know where this video is going, but I'm excited. I'm happy. It's two months. I talked about it in, in the segment that I just did. Um, I don't know what I'm going to put that in the middle, in the back. I don't know how, well, yeah, in the back. I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, it is my two month anniversary and I just want to thank everybody. And I left a few names out from the piece, whether it's in the front or in the beginning. There were so many people that I watched in the beginning of my journey. Um, uh, Peak's journey. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think of the, the big people, the, the people that, have been, that I went, oh, my God, this, you know, this is amazing. You know, and Lessa Sarah was, was uh, another big one. 
man, I'm trying to think. There was a couple of people. I just can't. I don't remember. There were so many videos I watched. So anyway, I'm hoping to do the same. So I want to give you just a practical update on what's going on. So it's week eight. And when you start this thing, you know, you, you, you have all these ideas of what, you know, you hear people say, well, we eat, if you eat too much, the restriction, you restriction, you get sick, you get, and you don't know what it really is. You, you don't, you know, and everybody's different. So it's hard to, to say. What I will say, though, is this. The first, you know, you come out and everything is this liquid diet, liquid diet going in, coming out. You want to just shoot yourself in the head. And it's, it's really kind of hard. Um, and then when you finally get to the other phase, this is what happened. This is just, again, the results may vary. This is my story. I don't know anybody else's. The, what what was messed up for me is when I finally started to get into the mushy phase, I felt because I had been on liquid so freaking long that I felt like I was overeating. Even just the mushy phase, I'm like, oh, I'm eating too much. It, it was just weird. I, I, and I'm never like that. I'm like, I don't give a fuck um, if I lose weight. If I don't, I know I'm doing the right thing. I just go by what I'm eating. I mean, there are times in my life where I have not weighed myself for, I don't know. I mean, obviously, it didn't. It wasn't a good idea to do that, because um, I got fucking out of control. But there were times where I went on complete diets, and I remember one um, from the '90s was dramatic. Was probably the lowest I ever got, because I was down to about a size 40, 46, going on a 44. In my adult life, that's pretty big for me. So that's the last the mark I'm setting. I'm pretty close. I'm just about a size 48. So I'm getting close. I'm probably within about, well, I don't think I've ever been under 300 pounds in my adult life. I don't think I've ever been close. So maybe, maybe I was like 320 um, then. I don't know. But I didn't have a scale. All I did was go by my clothes. So I was losing weight. I knew I was doing the right thing. So I have that potential. When I'm in the zone, I'm in the zone. Um, I know when I'm messing up. And, I, you know, and that's the hard part. For me, messing up is what, spins all the 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 altimeter everything everything goes out of control and then i gotta freaking grab the plane oh shit we're diving and um if i don't i keep diving so we talk about it on the kings you know we, we you know we talk about it you know if you want the ice cream you have the ice cream and I, in a way i do agree with that but for me if i do it too much and but but tj talked about is moderation you got to teach yourself moderation so i'm going in 50 different places here but there were, I, I don't want to be a prisoner to the scale, per se. I'm going to weigh myself once a week. Now, some of the old-timers, they laugh at me when I say that because apparently everybody says that, um, and then they, they start obsessing about it. But I really don't believe I'm going to be that type of guy. But who knows? I don't know. A wise man knows nothing, and I am a wise man. So I want to just so tell you what happened. So somewhere after the mushy phase, now you start to, you know, you go – you go from the mushy phase to the have fun storming the castle phase where they, like, wish you good luck. And I felt like I was spiraling. I didn't know what I could eat, what I couldn't eat, what was going to make me sick. Like, I didn't even know. And I didn't even understand the restriction, per se. When I first, like, started, you know, I'd feel a little something, and I was just like, well, I would eat through it. And I would think, oh, what the fuck? Is the sleeve not even working? I mean, I had all these, like, scary things, you know, and I wasn't sure. And um, to be honest, I'm still kind of feeling that out. Like, I don't know what my limits are because I pull back so quick. And I, and I, and I measure. Phil and a lot of people have told me, you know, you measure, you measure, you measure. And you shouldn't be at more than like, you know, two, two, three, three, four tops, four ounces. So that's what I'm doing. Um, but I feel now, right around the Christmas holiday, so I guess that would be about week, week six, week seven, um, that's when I started to feel really, really happy and really, really good about the surgery. Um, because now I kind of feel like, okay, I'm getting back to where I was. And I was doing so well. I lost 112 pounds pre-op and I had a regimen that I followed between food and everything. So now I'm back to that to some degree. I mean, obviously I used to eat a lot of salad. I can't do that anymore because I can only eat so much and we got to focus on protein. So if I try, if I know how the day is going to go, if I know I'm going to get my, you know, most of my protein in, then I'll try to get a little bit more uh, healthy vegetables. And, and I stay away from fruit. I know you, I, I I'm actually should start getting back into that, but I've cut sugar out so much 
I mean, I'm, I'm, there's no sugar in my diet. There's hardly any sugar anyway. I mean, there's like sugar and ketchup. There's sugar and shit. I mean, I use the tiniest amount of ketchup. Um, I mean, very, very tiny amount. If I have a turkey burger or if I have no bread, of course. There is no carbs in my life. I was a carb junkie, people. I mean, oh, my God. I could eat pasta. Now, the neighborhood, I'm a little Robert De Niro coming out. The neighborhood. You guys know where I'm from. I'm from the neighborhood. And all we do is eat freaking pasta, okay? And I live in, you know where I live. I'm not going to tell you where I live. I'm, I take the tortoise. I can go anywhere. But right now, I'm in New York City and home of the brave. And I don't mean fucking wherever the fuck you come from. I'm talking the my New York fucking city where I can go any time of day or night and get the best Italian food in the world. And that's what I did. <laughs> the best pizza. The be I mean, the best. Okay? Um, forgot about it. Tremendous. Okay. Sorry about that. I'd be, uh, let me go back to my New Yorkshire accent where we talk about Downton Abbey. Oh, I love the Granthams are back and I'm so excited. Okay. I'm deviating. So, pasta was my kryptonite. I said it in my first video, and I forgot to say it. But it's something I said all the time. Pasta is my kryptonite. And I used to pretend to be mom, but pasta is my kryptonite. And I had the picture of me in underoos as a kid. And we used to just joke about it. It was a fun, fun thing. If my brother-in-law ever finds that picture, he's going to frame it, and I'm going to be mortified. And I can't find the picture. But anyway, this is a long story. So, I broke the cycle, man. At some point... I would say probably, I don't know, it was about two months out, I started to not care. I, I didn't care about pizza. I didn't care about carbs. I had really broke the cycle, and it's going really, really well. Now, I've done this in my life. Like I said, this is not my first rodeo. I've lost hundreds and hundreds of pounds over my life, probably between seven to 800 pounds in my life. Now it's 800, definitely, because now I, got, I just lost another 150. So, um, but... I would always start to creep them back and go, oh, you could cheat a little bit. Oh, you could have, and that's fine. But right now, I'm just hell-bent, hell-bent, especially after my dad died. It smacked the crap out of me. It has aligned me. It has focused me. I am, oh, am hell-bent on getting to goal. So May 7th, 250 pounds. I wanted to get to 250 as my goal, so I needed to lose 250 pounds, and I've already lost 153 pounds. Okay, I know it's not the surgery, kids. I'm only saying that because I don't want somebody to watch this video and go, holy shit, 153 pounds in eight weeks. I could do, you know, no, no. It wasn't just the surgery. It was me. I put a lot of freaking work in before surgery. But since surgery, 41 pounds in two months is nothing to sneeze at either. So I'm rocking it. I hope you rock it too. Um, and, and just the feels part of it was was just week six, week seven. It was like, okay, I'm, I can do this. It's... I'm just about the same as I was in terms of what, you know, what I was eating. So I wasn't eating a lot. So if you're planning, if you're asking me, can you go and eat like freaking, I don't know. I, I wouldn't eat much. I was eating tuna fish. I was eating yogurts. I was eating salads. I was eating turkey burgers. I was eating I mean, no bread, you know. So, and it's, that's why I said I've been living like I had the surgery for so long anyway. And now I just eat a whole hell of a lot less. I chew, 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 and I eat slow, slow, slow. Um, and that's pretty much what you're going to do. And, um, you know, I got to say, like, initially I was worried, you know, like, oh, like, I just felt like I, because I, I was able to drink fluids so easily that I was worried that the sleeve was, you know, where's the restriction? But it's there. You know, if you eat too fast, you know it's there. If you eat too much, you all know it's there. So that's all I can say. And this is this whole video is getting way too long. But I just want to celebrate 153 pounds down in eight months. 41 pounds uh, down in the two months since surgery, 112 pre-op. Here's me patting myself on the back. I love me. I hope you love me too. I just want to thank everybody for watching. So throwing up the W. Check us out, Fat King's channel. Uh, you got Mondays, you got Andrew. Tuesdays, you got Phil. Wednesdays, you got the W. Thursdays, you got the Fat Kings. And now, thanks to the magical Phil Olson, he's throwing in. Fat Kings, Flashback Fridays. It's it's just crazy. Uh, the amount of enjoyment is crazy. So thanks, guys, for watching. Ciao, Bella. Remember, <laughs> I'm going to tell you one more time. Leave the cannoli. Take the protein. All right? And my fly a fly, stay, what is it? Keep flying and stay shining. All right, guys. Ciao, Bella.